We're now going to look at section one questions which focus on function. So we're going to use the same structure that we have been using for previous questions with the statement evidence link structure. This question is asking you to describe five functional issues that will have influenced the design of each of these products. So this time we're looking at two bread bins. So I've changed up the products for this example. Functional issues simply refer to aspects of the design that improve the primary and secondary functionality of the product. And sometimes safety will be added into these questions to allow you to demonstrate how function and safety are interlinked in design. So similarly to when target market gets tagged on to an aesthetics question, sometimes they will add in safety to a function question. Always think about what you would expect and want this product to do well. So for a bread bin, for example, you're going to expect it to keep the bread covered and airtight so that it stays fresh and you're going to want it to be safe and easy to use and clean. And your answer, as always, make sure you refer to both bread bins. So using the statement evidence link structure again, firstly, introduce your answer and the product. So function has influenced the design of the armadillo bread bin. Your evidence now providing your reasoning and explaining it. Because the designer has developed hinged lid sections that can be used to cover the bread to keep it fresh. So that's you mentioning the functional aspect of the design here. Then you're going to link it and relate your evidence to the similarities or differences or sometimes even the successes or failures of the design of the other product. However, the lid design of the Joseph Joseph bread bin will provide a more airtight seal for the bread because it is one part compared to the armadillo lid design. So this answer would gain two marks because you're referring to functional issues of both products by comparing them to one another. You've made sure that you've been clear in what products you're talking about when, and you've mentioned fun different functional aspects and whether they are successful or unsuccessful in your answer. To extend this, if you needed to, um, to pick up marks for safety, you could then add on something about the part of the design of the Joseph Joseph bread bin considering safety more fully than the armadillo bread bin because the armadillo bread bin has multiple sliding folding lid sections and that provides a higher risk of finger traps than the simple one part lid design of the Joseph Joseph. That answer tagged on to the original answer about functional aspects has the potential to gain up to four marks because again you're referring to different elements of function and safety for both products. <laughs>